Mystique was a company that produced a number of pornographic video games for the Atari 2600, such as Beat'em and Eat'em, Bachelor Party and Custer's Revenge. It was one of several video game companies that tried to use sex to sell its games. Mystique was an offshoot of Caballero Control Corporation, who produced pornographic films, and American Multiple Industries. The company's games were sold under the Swedish Erotica banner, although they were programmed in the United States, and manufactured in Hong Kong. I just don't believe adults want to shoot down rocket ships, American Multiple Industries president said. According to industry watchers and critics, Mystique's game designs were generally simple, with crude graphics and unexceptional gameplay. Mystique's game Custer's Revenge gained particular notoriety for its plot. In the game, the player controls the character of Custer, a naked man sporting a cowboy hat and a visible erection, obviously inspired by George Armstrong Custer. Custer has to overcome various obstacles in order to have sex with a crudely depicted, large-breasted Native American woman who is tied to a cactus. The game prompted complaints from a number of groups, women's rights, anti-pornography, Native American, and video game critics all made complaints. Mystique went out of business during the video game crash of 1983. The rights to Mystique's games were sold to the Playaround spin-off company, which continued the pornographic game line. Topic. See also List of video games notable for negative reception Video game controversies Sexism in video gaming Gender representation in video games